bros. I had listen. Uh, can I let me just, let me just give you guys like an idea because this is like when I'm not creating content for this game, right? I will show you guys my Twitter feed, okay? Just so, just so you guys can get an idea, right? Of of what my Twitter feed is like. So I I I don't block. I mute everything FIFA related. Like I I basically don't have a Twitter, right? Um. I essentially don't even I like my timeline is is almost like close to non-existent like I'm pretty sure like three or four people are not muted and it's just random too like so I'll show you guys like, an example right um so basically like okay you see this right this is my timeline but you could see that two hours ago I posted this video and it was uh like you know it's two hours ago and then there's this and then whatever MLG and then like there's Nate there Brendo but it's Nate again and 15 hours ago, right? So my whole timeline has nothing FIFA related. It's more, it's one of, like I use, because I don't like Twitter that much, right? So I, I like it to, to do updates and all that stuff. When I was using Twitter, I was, I didn't really like it. Like I'm more like, I'm on Instagram just sending memes to my friends. It's fun, right? Uh, but Twitter, like I kind of got to a point where I was like, I just don't want to see anything, right? Uh, so my whole thing for for everyone I'm following and this is no disrespect because I like all the people that I follow um everyone is pretty much muted right so you can see everyone is pretty much muted nothing against the community whatsoever right it's just a matter of like I just don't want to see FIFA related stuff right like everyone is muted right but there's so many people that I like but it's just because like I do that for my own mentality, right? Like, I, I don't want to see, I don't want, like, when I when I created content a lot before, I didn't want FIFA to be the entirety of my day. So when I see an update like this, believe me when I tell you that I actually do not know about it, right? Because um, they didn't even go in the game, right? So I had no idea. So just that's just a little bit of context for you guys uh, of what it's like. Uh, for me when it comes to like looking at these things like people get surprised like oh are you actually like reacting to this live like i'm being so serious right um so yeah let's see what this is update on fifa gameplay response in this efforts the latest update with fifa 19 gameplay response in this efforts <laughs> oh this is a long one okay yeah, that's what i like to see Hey, FIFA fans, we wanted to provide an update on the continued events investigation since the gameplay responsiveness and consistency uh, in that responsiveness when playing online. Following on from the changes outlined in the pitch notes tells number six, we wanted to talk about the team has been working on as well as some of the changes that we have been making in an effort to improve your experience in playing FIFA 19 online. Be below we go over three key topics, an overview and advanced telemetry tool that we have been using to help identify potential gameplay responsiveness issues, what changes we have been working on since our last update, how are we planning to deliver the change for the remainder of FIFA 19. <laughs> Investigating using uh, advanced telemetry. Uh, telemetry? Telemetry? Telema telemetry. Never saw this word before. NA education. Before we dive into some explanation of the changes, we, want for, uh, we first want to provide some details around a specialized tool that we have been using to help investigate the community reports of issues around gameplay responsiveness. Oh, this is like this is like the godsend of 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 things. <laughs> this is like the godsend of things. Um, uh, one of the challenges in investigating these types of issues is each person has a unique network configuration due to factors such as their physical locations, connection type, and ISP internet service provider. In order to identify and solve any problems that are within EA's direct control, we needed to be able to look at advanced telemetry uh, from players reporting issues. The depth of data needed to carry out these investigations required us to develop a specialized telemetry tool that enables our team to perform deep dive analysis as a result of its findings. Uh, what makes this tool so critical to our ability to investigate and identify potential issues is the scale of information that we can review about a single match after it has been played with this tool active when compared to the information we normally get from a match. So they're using a tool, now, well not now, but they've probably been using a tool. Interesting. In order to use the information we are getting about specific match effectively, it needs to be paired with direct feedback on, the, on that on that match's gameplay responsiveness from the player of the match. In order to use the information we are getting about a specific match effectively, it needs to be paired with direct feedback on that match's gameplay responsiveness from the player of the match. Really? So you know what I'm going to do right now? Is 
Do that with the bang. Okay. Real quick, you know. Uh, therefore, we have been working directly with a select number of players located around the world. Holy Jesus, Anzel. I scared the shit out of me, dude. Uh, therefore, we've been working directly with a select number of players located around the world in order to conduct our investigations. Changes we have made so far. Using the information gathered from our investigations, our team has been able to make a number of changes to the network networking infrastructure that is used to the following modes on PlayStation. Champions, Division Rivals, Online Draft, People, Folk Clubs, Co-op Season. Here's a brief summary of some of the changes that were made over the past few months as a result of these investigations. Network and data center configuration changes that have improved efficiency and capacity with a primary focus on our European server locations. Uh, changed our data center provider for one of our European server lo uh, locations. Multiple individual hardware changes to, to, due to specific hardware issues in various server locations around the world. Established more detailed operational metrics and monitoring for gameplay responses based on the learnings from our investigations. Uh, this is enabling our team to be more effective and efficient when monitoring the status of our servers in each server location and, ide and identifying issues that, have, that uh, may be impacting the gameplay responses for players. Looking to the future. Oh my god, this is a pose, boys. From the changes that we have made and the feedback we have been receiving from the players that we have been working with, we believe that we are making meaningful, meaningful improvements to gameplay responses and consistency uh, in that responsiveness when playing online for many players. Dude, this is like... People have no idea like what this this stuff means to me. Like they don't. It's, I don't want to even get into it, bro. Holy. Oh, all right. That being said, we know that we still have to do uh, work to do in this space. Moving forward, the team will continue to focus on bringing improvements around gameplay responsiveness. Working off the changes that have already been made, here are some of the areas that the team is focused on. Network and data center, uh, center configuration changes to improve efficiency and capacity. As mentioned in the previous section, we have already made a number of changes in the space in our European server locations, but we are working through the remaining server locations around the world and making changes there if... <sighs> when they are identified resolving any identified specific uh, specific hardware issues in all server locations around the world this is an ongoing operational effort it's important to know that due to the number of variables that make up a player's connection not all updates are going to have an impact on all players some updates will only have an impact on players in certain locations in the world while others may only impact players with certain network setups our goal is, to, is for the combined impact of these changes over time to continue move Move the needle on gameplay responsive for the FIFA community as a whole. We'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the effort of key community members who have been working hand in hand uh, with us through the investigations mentioned above, as well as the continued feedback we've been receiving from the community as a whole since the launch of FIFA 19. Uh, our investigations and work on this will continue as we remain dedicated to improving the experience of our community when playing online. We will continue to provide updates when possible and available. We deeply appreciate your effort. Yo, are you trying to tell me that if I play this game right now, chat, that it might be good? Yo, this is the only update I give a shit about. Because this is the only thing that, like, needs to be fixed first. Then you could talk about your gameplay mechanics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously, there's certain gameplay mechanics this year that are, like, really unbalanced. Like, especially defending, defending goalie and finishing. That's, like, the three main things you have to balance. And those are, those are really, 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 really unbalanced this year. Right? But it's like, it's like, we have hope. I would tell you guys why we have hope, okay? Because... I'm going to be talking about these carnival players right now, okay? They're starting to get it, okay? Because the content that they released for these carnival players, and that's why if they had the concept of division rivals, online tournament mode, drafts, blah, 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 right? If they had that concept, and in online tournament mode, you would have to use silver players, even single matches right now, just single matches, right? Even though it'd be better if it was online tournament mode because, you know, whatever, because um, of the format and whatever. Uh, they get it now because the way to unlock these players is not by using meta cards they're starting to understand what gameplay content actually is okay because the challenges right if you see the challenges here because i like i said i showed you guys what my twitter looks like i don't know anything right i looked at these cards i was like holy crap no gold players allowed boom i'm already happy right no gold players allowed no gold players allowed no gold player well this one is different. Uh, score in four separate of squad battles. Okay, sure, squad battles. I hate squad battles, but sure, you know, it's for the people that play it, right? Um, but this right here, 
it's not necessarily that I don't I want all challenges to be no gold players, but the fact that they are telling you do not use gold players and you have to use 11 silver German players makes it so that when you're playing the game, if you get silver cards, you may want to keep them for challenges in the future. They're starting to get that. I feel like this year, in my opinion, right, is is like is like an experimental year. You know what I'm saying, chat? This year is like a very very experimental year like it's been the last few years have been bad okay but this year specifically is an experimental year i feel like they're sh they're starting to get it i've worked five fucking years for something like this to come out from ea okay so i'm happy that they're they're, they're doing this update now I'm very very pleased that they're doing that right because this is the only update that truly matters for this game to be good because then after that we could talk about the game mechanics right thank you guys for the subs by the way just give me one second okay um but this this is i wanted this in like fifa 15 like i wanted to use silver players so i can get a unique card like this all these cards are all usable not necessarily meta but they're usable, right? So if you if you made game modes where these types of cards are cards that I want to use because of challenges for future challenges or whatever it is, like the design of these cards, whoever made the design of these cards, God bless you. They look amazing, okay? I, I Anyone that says otherwise, I just disagree with them wholeheartedly because the design's fantastic. I think, I think most of the people in the chat will probably disagree with that, you know, or agree with that. I don't know, right? But this is a very experimental year, right? And... Honestly, with the guys that work there right now, the communication is is miles different. Okay, so you know what, man? It could it could it could end up being really good, guys. This this could be game changing for the community because I've I've always just wanted like people say like why do you make these types of videos? I've always just wanted a game that I can stream. I I love streaming way more than I love doing YouTube. Way more. I like to I like to have. You see how there's people in my chat right now. You see, you, know, you see all these beautiful mother fluffers right here. I like doing that, okay? I like the live interaction. That's my thing, okay? So if they truly, truly fix that gameplay stuff, I will actually cry. Like, I'm being so dead ass because it's been years that they've... I just wanted one. I just wanted one video like this. One. And they finally did it. Acknowledging it. Okay? This has my respect now. Because now they have acknowledged it. Finally. Okay? So, if in the future, man, my games are consistent and they feel good all the time and you got good gameplay game modes and you release contents like this, but in, in bulks... Instead of being more experimental with weekly and dailies, we got a we got a, we got potential for the future, guys. We definitely we have potential, man. I'm 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 looking forward to working more with the, with the guys that are working at EA right now because the communication way better now.